It's his paprika. She is an alpaca, I believe. And her deal, this character I am definitely not very good with. She is a combination of close range charge moves and items. So real quick, her normals, light, medium, hard. Forward, light is a kiss. I wonder if that's an anti-air. Forward, hard is a sort of... How don't you call that? Lunge? Lunging hard? I actually have to look at her command list since I don't know her moves that well. Okay, so... Cartwheel and Zippy Teleport. So charge character means in order to do their moves you hold a direction and then you hit another direction and an attack button. So her cartwheel is back forward and the light version hits pretty quick. The medium version hits a little bit faster and is more of like an uppercut. And the hard version is the big overhead. Pretty sure that's an overhead. The other one, the teleport, holding forward and hitting back. The light version causes her to run back and forth. The medium version comes all the way across and pops around the other side of the character. And the hard version is an actual attack that comes in from above. So this character is all about controlling the screen space and crossing up the enemy. Her magic system... Oh, she has a grab too, a command throw. So, Dragon Punch is a kiss. And that causes the opponent to be in a stun state, I think. So you can combo him. Okay, so the magic... Her magic system is weird. I don't really know how to use it, but if you hit the magic button without any input, she tosses out a potted plant. And is it random? Yeah, so it's, it's random what she tosses out. Sometimes it's just an item, and I think sometimes it's food. So she can... She can throw different things out in different directions. So she can go back, or she can go down. But once her meter's empty, she's done. So let me see if I can set this to infinite magic. There we go. So let's see. Down and magic causes whatever she's throwing to, to go high. And one thing I've seen that I do know about that whole system with the throwing items, for food, if the enemy is near it and they hit attack, they'll eat it, which stops their animations where they're doing, and they'll be stuck in the eating animation. So as far as I can tell, Paprika uses the items to mix up the enemies, either through combos or using the whole function of them stopping whatever it is they're doing to eat. And this character I probably know the least about. Edible gift. So that's fireball backwards. Uh. 
I guess that's if you want to throw out a uh, specific type of item. And if you had infinite magic, you just pummel the en enemy with different items. Uh, her super attacks. That comes in from behind. And is. Sequence of attacks. Okay. So that's the eating animation. And that's what happens if I just hit attack while I'm standing over something. Okay, so. Picnic basket super. Down, down, and attack is a continuation. And then I hit forward and back for the finisher. she puts the picnic basket down as part of the continuation super. If you hold forward and hit back in magic, she can pop out of it at any given time to surprise the enemy. So this character is all about managing all of the different things that she does. A bit more complex than the others, but pretty strong. I've seen some people do some fun stuff with her too. Her overall basic combos and moves are pretty strong. I have to say I'm really not a fan of charge input characters. But her charge moves are pretty strong, so I could foresee her being pretty viable. Overall, all the characters in them's fighting hers are very distinct and all very viable. They created a pretty diverse, diverse roster with just six characters. So we'll go ahead and move on. 